We just mix in an occasional mint and julep, and we have cookies and milk before Betty buy. <laughs> and that's on an exciting night at the Padre Spring Training Camp in Yuma, Arizona. To the players, Yuma is strictly a four-letter word. Those I spoke with who have been with other teams in other training sites in both Florida and Arizona consider Yuma, Arizona, no offense, the absolute pits. Padres are probably wise to choose a spring training site that isn't, oh, exactly Las Vegas in terms of its distractions. I mean, the exhibition games for the players become the highlight of the six weeks. The rest of the time is pretty much fundamentals and then uh, the nightlife, if you can find it. Because it consists here in good old one-horse town Yuma of basically movies, not exactly first run, a main drag that is fast food heaven, and bars, lots of them, mostly small, loud, and, well, sleazy. Padre relief pitcher John DeAquisto is a good case in point, a native San Diegan who spent seven years with the Giants training in Arizona, then with the St. Louis Cardinals in Florida, now with the Padres in Yuma. A young bachelor ball player who likes entertainment, but for him, what is there to do in Yuma? Not much. <laughs> not much at all. Uh, there's not very much to do here at all, Ted. <laughs> uh, it's like... You know, there's been the old stereotype thing comes out. Oh, well, the ball players are back here in Yuma for another year of uh, craziness. And, you know, it, it's like, you know, when you're single, you know, you tend to like to go out on dates every once in a while. But uh, here, uh, that's kind of limited. Uh, you tend to learn how to play guitar quite well. Uh, uh, card games are really good. Uh, you know, it just it becomes a, a, at a point where you're just, uh, you know, got a lot of time on your hands a lot of time <laughs> hey I don't mean to be knocking the city of Yuma but I look for a ball player any ball player who liked a spring training B Yuma C both of the above and found nobody nobody young nobody old sometimes you want a little peace and quiet uh, this is a good place to get it Yuma Arizona folks <laughs> Gaylord Jackson Perry He's been going through spring trainings longer than some of the Padres have been alive. 20 years of it, going back to 1958, his first camp. It's a well-known story as he approaches this year's in Yuma for the Padres that last year, at age 40, he won 21 games for the Padres, the Cy Young Award, and recorded his 3,000th career strikeout. Got a man there, Good champ with the one hand. All right. How about champ? This is Roger Craig's first full spring training as the Padre manager. It was, in fact, Wednesday of this week, the anniversary of his hiring after Alvin Dark's firing last season. Craig is loose, unlike Dark, very close to his players, what baseball people like to call a player's manager. His popularity makes spring training a little more bearable. One of the problems of spring training is to keep it interesting for the players. I mean, it gets dull after six weeks of fundamentals, so you have to have someone who's a little bit crazy to kind of keep things uh, moving. The Padres have that someone. <laughs> <laughs> nice pitch, Lolo. Doug Rader, one-time Major League third baseman, full-time Padre coach, long-time strange person. Uh, if Craig is loose, Rader is practically coming apart. His escapades as a player are the stuff of legends. He is a little more serious now as a coach, but still a lot more like Tommy Smothers than Tommy Lasorda. Watch your lips. boy, Barry, you're hot, kid. Cookies and milk in your locker. Now, you had a heck of a reputation as a player. Did you fully earn all those things that they said that you did? Did you do them all or most of them? Yeah. Oh, I did probably more than they wrote about them. The, <laughs> the things that were put in print were the only ones they could get away with. Freddy. Exactly four and a half minutes. I got it. Perfect. I invented that play. 
Nice play, kid. You got it going today. The whole lifestyle of baseball gets in your blood, and it's almost uh, it's almost uh, something I don't think that I'll ever get out of my system. I'm kind of restless anyway, and uh, you know it gets, gives me an opportunity to, to spread myself around. <laughs> <laughs> In addition to talking with Raider, we did do the standard spring training interviews, not only with the Padres in Yuma, but other teams in Arizona and Florida. But you don't want to see those. I mean, spring training interviews are always the same, with the same cliches over and over, year after year. So to save time, we eliminated the interviews and kept the cliches. He did a, a great job for us last year. He doesn't have the range, but he knows how to play. Baseball's baseball. What we have to do is kind of stay free from injuries. And your talent will take care of the rest. We're a very good ball club. Very deep ball club. I don't see anyone that can beat us. The uh, odds on the favorite. We've got a very fine pitching staff. They're the best staff in, in baseball. It looks good on paper. We have a lot of new faces. We have to play good baseball. How do you play good baseball? Play good defense. Try to stay mentally prepared. Part of the winning attitude. I can't wait to get to the ballpark every day. This game means everything in the world to me. Who wants to hear it? Who cares? <laughs> and that more or less, is what's happening in spring training with the Padres. Ted Leitner, News 8, Yuma, Arizona.